what's up guys welcome back to another episode here on nrv outdoors today we're here at the creek to do a little bit of trout fishing but this particular creek here is quite special this particular creek here is peak creek in pulaski virginia and this is known as the delayed harvest stream all these fish that we'll be catching today have to be released there's several rules and regulations in delayed harvest for our state but the biggest is being you need to use artificial baits barbless hooks and you've got to catch and release so one of the best baits that i've ever ran into for catching these beautiful delayed harvest fish here in virginia would have to be the trout magnet as you can see here we've got ourselves a little pink trout magnet rigged up we've got our float there and uh, all we've got to do here is simply pinch down that barb to make this a legal bait to use i'll simply show you guys really quickly how i like to do that i'll just take it here my old pliers give it a good pinch pinch that barb down till it's nice and flat with the shank of the hook just like so and that's all you got to do now all we need to do guys is slide down here into this hole i can see a couple fish swimming around not a whole lot let's go ahead and slide down here we'll present our little pink trout magnet with our black head this is the 164 ounce jig head we've got our float i'd say about two and a half foot to three foot away and that'll match our depth here perfectly so let's go ahead and slide down off this hill present this bait to these fish see if we can catch us a couple stick around guys let's have some fun all right so these fish are way down there we've got a just absolutely bomb cast down there try to get it up current in a manner that it's going to allow it to go straight to these fish there we go there's our first fish on guys it took a little while they are just so far downstream right now that it's kind of challenging to get a bait to them but if you can get that trout magnet to these beautiful delayed harvest fish most of the time you can catch them there we go and there's our first gorgeous little rainbow from the bank here fishing our barbless hook an absolute gorgeous little fish right there let's take him right over here we'll release him back into the creek nice and safely here there she goes all right guys so that's one fish down let's go ahead and make a couple more casts see if we can get lucky and get us another one here the same really long cast down there it would be ideal to be on the other side and we can switch sides but for right now we're going to stick over here and just kind of stay back away from these fish no need to spook them too much i can see an absolute ton of them though that's for sure there's plenty of them over there at least a dozen if not more that's typically how your delayed waters will be guys you know typically you'll show up and there'll be you know several dozen fish in each hole and they do that to give these fish an opportunity to repopulate and also just kind of give somebody recreation you know to give the people recreation uh during the fall months kind of something to do as their kids play on the playground or what have you there we go there's fish number two got to kind of keep good pressure we are fishing barbless hook so although you can't really fight them as much as you'd like you just kind of keep good pressure and they should stay pinned up for you pretty well all right let's slide her right on into the net there we go there's a gorgeous fish number two out of this run here there we go an absolute gorgeous fish right there we'll take him right over here We'll release him right here at our feet there he goes all right so there's a gorgeous fish number two out of this run and again i think i'm just going to stay back keep bombing out these really long casts and if they start to slow down on this pink color we'll just simply reach in and grab us a different one and toss it in here and see what happens bite bite oh yep we've got one. Oh, this feels like a nicer fish guys i wouldn't say by a whole lot we'll just continue to apply pressure here way over there in the shallows didn't take too long after fish number two there to trigger a third he was fighting hard but he's about the same size as the last two here there we go we'll see if our barbless hook will pop out like it did on the last two calm down little buddy plenty of fighting these delayed harvest fish they're super fresh they were actually just stocked yesterday i would guess yesterday evening 
there we go another absolutely gorgeous angry little rainbow no need to hold him out of the water we'll take him right over here and release him back with his friends bite bite it again he's biting it not really holding on to it though there we go we got him looks like we've got him hooked a little bit funny just coming in with his mouth wide open he was just a tiny little whippersnapper here this fish almost looks like one that may even be wild to the stream Looking at his fins, I would say probably not, but he is quite small. Just a pretty little guy there. Let's go ahead and let him in right over here. All right guys, so this is what I'm thinking. Our cast is a little bit longer than we'd like, and that's for sure. And they've slowed down on our particular color. So what I'm thinking is let's just simply reach into our box here. We'll grab out a different color and we'll also grab us out a little weight. And I think that this weight will allow us to get the distance that we need to really get our cast out there where we can see these fish not have nearly as many struggles getting it there and uh, hopefully by changing up colors we'll be able to present a little bit of a different look and trigger these fish that are simply letting that pink color drift by at this point so we'll go on ahead and change up to that black and yellow there and plenty of the way out of the way here i'd say eight inches or so we're going to simply attach our little weight here just a small little b size weight just going to pinch it down nice and firmly with our pliers here just to make sure it doesn't slide and i'd say that's about six inches away that added just enough weight to help us get out there so let's go ahead and bomb out our next cast get it well into the strike zone here our float is gone down a little bit deeper than usual but it's still up on top and we can see it well so we'll let that thing just drift right on by here see if we can trigger a couple of these beautiful little delayed harvest rainbows we've got in this run right here all right so they moved way down there but i think we can still score a good cast that one was not bad instant bite come back and get it we got him oh big one this one's going to pull a little bit of drag i can tell by this one's size still don't want to play him too too much because if he gets any if he gets any slack on that line he'll likely pop it keep him out of these bushes really nice big rainbow here really nice fish right, let's see if we can just slide her right on the net there we go all right let's see if our little barbless hook won't just pop right out of this fish for us really quality really quality delayed harvest fish here oh looks like it's popped out and got her right underneath the chin we'll try to get that off of there for her there we go as barbless as that hook was it was pegged in her jaw quite well really really quality quality little delayed harvest fish there we've had her out of the water long enough let her go right here there she goes right back down there still got plenty of flight in her really got to be an extremely precise cast for this hole today there used to be a big tree that laid in the creek here and it really did act as a perfect form of cover and held the fish on it but they're preferring the very end of this run which most fish do especially if they've been in the creek for a little while they like to get down there in the kind of the easiest water to swim around in there we go let that fish hold it for a minute just a little guy but it is a gorgeous little rainbow trout. Got a couple buddies following it up here. Not quite as big as that last one. But if you can get it in that pristine location down there. Where these beautiful little fish are hanging out at. You can just about get one every cast. Alright, there we go. Got that one unpegged there. We'll just let her take off right here in front of us. Just like the last couple. That one managed to actually pop off our trout magnet. It looks like our line just got a little bit weak, so we'll just simply slide our float up there, slide our weight up there, excuse me. We'll retie back up, and we'll make another cast down there to where these fish are. All right. Still got the yellow color. Just bomb us out another one here. We'll keep casting the yellow until they turn off of it. 
then we'll probably try out that black and green just to clean up the last few that are being stubborn but so far we're doing really well presenting our bait to these fish that are so far away and getting them to bite just like this one it's just too much fun there's a big layer of brush right here to our right as you can see and it goes out into the water so i'm trying to keep the fish up out of there while still applying really good pressure because these barbless hooks will pop out quite easily and that's kind of the point you don't want to see just like that fish there you don't want to super stress them out and if they can just simply pop off well then that's a good thing as long as you're getting the fight let's go ahead and bomb us out another one guys see if we can catch one of his buddies while they're all stirred up down there and active now if you do want to up your hook up ratio all you really need to do guys with these trout magnet hooks especially is just take your little hook file to it you can file that hook point down to where it's just super sharp but it doesn't really uh it doesn't really make you know change the fact that you're still going to lose a couple here and there while fishing those barbless hooks it's just kind of part of it as sad as it may seem some people do come out here and they do break the rules you know they come out here and they try to take these fish home they use doe baits and and live baits and you know treble hooks and different things like that but guys just be aware that if you do get caught doing anything of that nature in delayed harvest waters especially in virginia the fines are really expensive and trust me you can go to the supermarket and buy a lot more trout than you could possibly get paying off those fines and taking a few home and nine times out of ten if they catch you with doing anything like that they're not only going to take your fish but they're probably going to take your fishing privileges so then you really won't have the opportunity to do it again so make sure that you follow the, the rules and the guidelines when you're fishing these delayed harvest waters and make sure that you just simply check it out i will actually leave a link down below in the description for you guys to go and check out so that you guys can read the regulations on delayed harvest waters just so you kind of know before you make your trip what the rules are what you can use what you can't use and just the best way to have fun and stay out of trouble so we'll go on ahead and make us a few more casts here we're right in the group of this fish just trying to get somebody oh there he was so that's probably a sign we should probably change colors what we'll do is we'll just simply reach into our box here we'll take off our yellow color these soft plastics are extremely durable and anytime you're fishing trout magnets whether it be the crappy magnets the mini mags or these just standard trout magnets it's a good idea just to throw them back in your box instead of just toss them on the ground i'll tell you what guys let's go on ahead and switch up here we'll go the solid black hook here and we'll just go on ahead slide our weight up it has slid down there some and we'll just go on ahead and fish our black and green this is one of our favorite colors that leland baits makes here I'm just rig him up just like that putting that green side down so that the fish can see it from above just bomb us a cast out here and we'll just see how long it takes just like that i mean that was literally seconds guys with that black and green that fish wasted no time whatsoever come over and absolutely crushed it i mean that may have been a, a solid two seconds of this bait being in the water and this tiny little rainbow here come over and just crushed it all trout magnet colors are good and the colors vary during you know during the day from day to day so it's important to have plenty of different colors but if I could only have one, black and green would definitely be it. Now, guys, strategically, I could cross the creek. It's really shallow over there. And just simply stand on that side. Oh, there was one. He popped off and still jumped. But I could cross the creek and go stand over there and probably get on these fish a whole lot better. But in all honesty, standing right here, making these really long casts, I'm not really spooking the fish off. Other than the bobber hitting the water, they have absolutely no clue what's going on. And luckily for me, they're right underneath a tree. There's another one underneath the tree that's dropping off little walnuts and different things so it's not really causing any major issues and we're able to still get these fish hooked up and get them to bite this one's a really nice chunky one really nice solid rainbow trout here looks like a hen she's probably full of eggs there we go we got her in the net really angry girthy fish here beautiful fish there we'll let her take off right here as well there she goes all right that black and green gets down there in that little strike zone and they just simply can't help it yep all these fish are just grouped up right almost out of our casting reach here we're still able to get it down there should be a quality cast here we're right where the fish are there we go you just got to get it in them as much water as there is, is here right now, 
all the fish are really just grouped together in one little spot so as long as you can get that old trout magnet to where the group of the fish are you can most likely catch them this one here was swimming in most of the way with his mouth open that must look like a big shark or something she slide her right on into the net there we go another gorgeous chunky delayed harvest rainbow here nice fat fish it's another fish hooked on the outside of the mouth i believe what happens is whenever this bait gets in that group of fish they all react so crazily that you just end up kind of getting whichever one is more aggressive because they all kind of compete for it they're all at once and it gets a little hectic but let's just bomb us out another one here the exact same location and just see what happens all right so they've slowed down on the black and green and they haven't seen that pink color for a little while so we'll go on ahead and make the executive decision here to go on ahead and change up to that bright pink color pinch our weight down it is getting a little bit sloppy there we'll take off our black and green reach into our little trout magnet box here we'll grab us out another one of those hot pink colors and just because they've slowed down and uh you know kind of quit biting that black and green as well all you've got to do is just simply change up your color and the fish will just act totally different and it's so crazy how that works although they're not scented just the color itself is enough to absolutely trigger these fish so we'll go on ahead and drop it in it had an instant bite there it did drop it though there we go i mean instant bite and you know i've actually tried a couple studies of just uh swapping colors every cast and it does work just the same you can almost catch a fish every cast if you get them biting like we've got them here just by switching colors there we go another gorgeous gorgeous little rainbow trout here there we go all right we'll just dunk her into the creek right over here there she goes all right so let's go on ahead and just make us another cast and continue catching these fish again we had just swapped colors to that pink and it was instantaneous the fish just kind of got used to seeing that yellow color there we go and they got used to seeing that black and green color we just simply swapped up colors and as you can see here we've got a little feeding frenzy going and there's nothing wrong with that another gorgeous little rainbow trout here they do seem to be getting a little bit smaller but that's okay perfect hook set on these last two right through the hard roof of the mouth there exactly where you want to hook them take off little girl there she goes so guys dare i say that just a bait change can get us three in a row i'm really not sure but let's bomb it on out there we've got ourselves a good cast oh it hit it here they come there we go yep three in a row just like that guys just like that so much fun oh popped off no harm no foul that's a good thing so guys let's just go ahead and keep this little clip rolling we might as well just bomb it out here perfectly into the strike zone these fish should come over just like that there we go so we've almost dialed in our color here seems like pink is the color for right now anyways and these fish are feeding on it really well Let's go ahead and slide this little beauty into the net as well. Oh, there she goes. Perfectly into the net there. Just unhook this fish here. Oh, super angry. Felt the fish start to tense up. Didn't want to grip its jaw too hard. Just simply let it go. Let it flop around for a minute. That's honestly your best bet. I know a lot of people like to just kind of give them a death grip and squeeze them and whatnot, but your best bet is just to kind of let them flop around for a minute. Let them expend that energy unhook them and release them just like that all right so i've got confidence that these fish are so stirred up that we can potentially do it again so let's just throw one right on out there really poor cast on my behalf but possibly still draw these fish over by adding some twitches to the bait nowhere near the group but we can maybe draw a couple over there we go just like that all right so we've got an absolute trout feeding frenzy here and this is a perfect place to bring your family bring in experienced anglers if you can find a really good stocked hole in a delayed harvest creek there's no doubt that you and your family can have an absolute blast and catch a ton of fish 
There we go. Little barbless hook simply just popped out. So we'll just let her take light on off right there. Did mess up our magnet just a little bit there. Not too bad. Just going ahead and bomb us out another one here. Another really poor cast, but maybe we can get lucky. Give us some twitches, maybe call one over. All right, well, that was the cast that broke our little streak there, but that's okay. We're going ahead and fix up our stuff here and get back in there. All right, guys, I think to end out this video, we'll pop us on a black and green magnet here. We'll throw it in front of them a few times. The black and green is my favorite. And we're getting close to the evening time here, so we'll just see if this right here might not be the move. Uh, I believe these fish will pretty much bite just about anything at this point that you drop in front of them. They're just in a feeding mood right now, but we'll show them the black and green. There we go. That did not take too long. Two casts. He's got several buddies following him in. Wanting to know what he's got. Another beautiful little rainbow trout. Some streams in delayed harvest do put other species than just the rainbows, but for the majority, they are rainbows statewide. That's just because they do so well in our state. In some areas where there's already native fish, they will put those exact fish in there, but there's not very many. So, all right, there's one. We'll make us a couple more casts in here. See if we can get us a couple more. And then we'll just call it a day and leave these fish for someone else to have a chance to come down here and catch them. There we go. That guy there absolutely crushed it. He took the bobber down and just completely took off downstream with it. Ton of power in this little guy. He's down there just to work, and he's got a buddy right behind him. Oh, pulling a little bit of drag. One of the nicer fish of the session, that's for sure. Slide her right on into the net. It does look like there's been a nice little series of hens. Nice and plump, most likely with eggs. There we go. We'll let this little beauty take off right here. There she goes. I'll tell you what, guys, I've been meaning to review the Leland Mini Mags. So, um, if you guys would, go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to see me do a little mini magnet review, if we can get 200, I don't know, maybe 250 likes, I'll go ahead and make an order for some of those. I can't get them in any local stores, but I can place an order for them. And if it's something you guys want to see, um, go ahead and smash that like button. 250 likes, guaranteed, I'll buy them and I'll make a video on them soon. So, go ahead and smash that like button if that's something you want to see all right guys let's quit farting around let's make ourselves one really good cast right here let's catch our last fish here we go there we go and it looks like a nice one too up there rolling all around gorgeous fish right on the surface got a bit of a leaf wrapped over his head i tell you what we may have saved the biggest fish for last can't really tell well, maybe not the biggest but he definitely had the most spirit that's for sure all right let's go on ahead and let him take off right here and we'll go ahead and call it a day Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. And again, if you want to see that mini mag video, go ahead and smash the like button. 250 likes, and we'll go ahead and make the order, get the baits on their way. And hey, I'll tell you what, if you get 250 likes, I'll order the baits. We'll use them on the stream, we'll review them, and then I'll give them away to one of you guys. So go ahead and smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think the best go-to delayed harvest bait is that you like. And go ahead and get out if you can, guys. Enjoy this fall weather. Winter's coming, the cold weather's on its way. Get out if you can, guys, and take a kid fishing and make some memories that'll last a lifetime. But until next time, boys and girls, be safe and tight lines.